after I was with him, I was scared to get out of it. So if because you, you guys are fucking making fun of me, if you want me to actually say the real reasons, yeah, he was making give me those signs that if I was gonna actually leave him, he was gonna, you know. It's rude. It's rude. <laughs> what? What's like? Huh? It was rude. It wasn't me. It was Eric. Well, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to Rage Quit Kiko disregards men's struggles in dating. Guys, let's go right on to this. Hmm. At the bar, I see very successful inter encounters. So I don't know. Maybe it's just because everyone's drunk there. But when I'm bartending, I'll oftentimes see men approach women. Majority of the time, they either chat for a little bit, end up dancing together, whatever. I rarely ever see a man approach a woman at my bar, at least where I work, and them just be like straight faced. Unless they were like drunk as hell all over them being a weirdo, then of course. Yeah. But, but the usually thing about, we give them a chance. The thing about that example, Kiko, is the type of dudes that are going to bars are gregarious, outgoing guys who like have confidence in their game and they know that there's attractive mm -hmm. girls out there and they want to go talk to them. Mm -hmm. That is not representative of the average male population. Okay, but like how Sam said, get out of there and go. When men approach women in a nice way and not creepy, majority of the time it's not met with it's not met with just Ugh, get away from me. Online, maybe because I'm not gonna respond to a random man who just DMs me if I don't know who they are. Because honestly, it's scary. I don't know who I can meet out there and be a weirdo and chop me up into a million pieces. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you could read it better in person. So I feel like uh, for men, a lot of encounters come better. That's why I was gonna ask her: Have you just started this after the pandemic? Like, have we seen a shift since the pandemic where people were inside trying to do this versus when men were out and approaching? woman and it wasn't as taboo for those things I, I i see them having a fairly easy time especially in ivy it could be the ugliest man walking up to an average woman and they'll go home together men Bro, IV have no problem getting cow. laid I have watched no the ugliest yeah. men get laid every single Kiko, night. Yeah, because ugly. you are seeing a specific subset of men. That's that why I said maybe it's the area. No, it's not just the area. This is this is across the board. A very small amount of men are just getting women easily. The, for the vast majority, you you shake your head. I talk to a lot of men, Kiko, a lot of men, and they all come to me because they're like, bro, it seems like you have confidence in understanding how women work. Help me because I'm struggling with these women. A lot of dudes are not successful with women. The majority of guys are not successful with women. It is difficult for men to attract and keep women if they are average men. It is not an easy thing. I would thing. say it below is, average It is average. No, 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 it's no, not. It's not well, this is exactly average. why marriage rates are declining. And, and it's it's also why, why she has 800,000 followers across her platforms of attractive, you said it's below average men. She has attractive dudes that are struggling to get solid I would say women. any man who's going to her for that probably has some more deep-rooted issues. No. Is the, the reason the why problem, they're having to Tico, do that. the problem is that yeah, you, you, are, judging, not you are judging all men based on the small subset of men that you see. I... Okay. I don't Can think I you can speak before? on. You're judging yeah. off the, the small subset. No, I, 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 I know mm -hmm. a shitload of guys. So do I. Okay, a shitload of guys. Let's pull and, up and some studies too, by the way. Yeah, the, the, the majority of these guys, I mean, all you have to do is look at that thing that Brian brings up. In the, the female. Like how everyone's the, the, hoes? No, hold on. How the, do hoes exist? The hold on. Delusion. The female delusion. Yeah, fuck everybody. Please listen. Kiko, let him finish. Please listen. He's cut me off a lot of times, Brian. If you don't, if you have Kiko, you're, you're the master of cutting off. Just let him finish and then you can go. Well, you you would look shocked, but just. By the way, you can keep a poker face while people are talking. You don't need to do like a whole. <laughs> you don't need to do like a. a Brian, don't, don't, don't say anything to me anymore. You, you, you don't. Bro, do you, you want don't. views or no? If bro, I was just but, sit here like this, you're not gonna get shit. So let me bro, do what but, I do. Thank but you. It's it's uh, if you're like grimacing when someone's trying to make a point and you're like rolling your eyes, it's kind of rude. He does the exact same shit. He's well, like, I I'm not looking Kigo, at I've, I've listened. Should. I've listened to. I've listened to many of your points. I, I, I let you make them and I try to address them. And the point the point that I want to make right now. Throughout, so I've done this is what the ninth episode that I've done at this point. And one of the things Brian has asked girls, he's, he goes like, okay, so what kind of guys do you like, right? Girls like tall guys uh, who ideally make a decent amount of money. Oftentimes, like Deborah said, it's above six foot tall, right? And if you look up the female delusion calculator and you look at the amount of dudes that are above six feet tall that make, you know, $90,000 a year or up, it's like less than 1% of the population, okay? So you have women saying, hey, this is what I want. 99% of men do not fit that standard. Okay, and so you say, well, it's the below average guys that, you know, they can't get laid. Literally 99% of men 
do not fit in the average woman's standards for what they want in a partner. Do you see the problem there? I see that, but my point is a lot of women might be saying that, but their actions aren't showing that. I might say that, but my last ex was broke as fucking five seven. You're so right. he still got to date me. You're right. And I Which is why so he, he got to date you. <sighs> yeah, he got to date me. What? Yeah. Let me say it again. You he guys got, got to, date to date me. You guys got to date each other, right? Based off of the point of he's saying is how he's below me because he's not six foot and wasn't making that much money. In his eyes, he got to date me because based is off that what how you guys you are view saying. It? Is that your frame of how you view I would say he got to date me because he reached out to me for months beforehand and we had to have multiple friends intervene to get us into a relationship. You didn't get to why. date each other? Um, honestly, You didn't feel not, fortunate to date him? No, not mm. at all. So why did you uh, date him? I was honestly dragged into it. I was in a very traumatic point <laughs> oh in my, my life. God. Rip, rip for this Can, I, can I say something? Okay, when I met topic. him, I was at a very Eric, low point of my life. We met one month before the pandemic hit and we kind of just got stuck and together if i had never stuck together if i had never if i wouldn't have experienced what i experienced right before meeting him we were basically if you know what the term is we were trauma bonded basically together and i could it took me a long time to get out of it honestly because i thought he was so after i was with him i was scared to get out of it so if you because you guys are fucking making fun of me if you want me to actually say the real reasons yeah he was making give me those signs that if i was going to actually leave him he was going to you know it's rude it's rude <laughs> what? what's like huh it was rude. It wasn't me. It was Eric. Well, I'm sorry. I think I'm we sorry can all agree. That that There's a lot of psycho guys like, out dude, there these days. Yeah. Like, you guys are acting like psychos. You guys want to see just yeah. one side of everything. There are psycho guys out there, but to paint, like, you make it sound like it's like a large percentage. No, 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 no. It's not a large percentage, but there are, like, this fringe group of guys that I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is new to society, but, like, the guys are like, I'll myself if you break up with me like mm. seek some help that's what he did seek some yeah. help that first, shit too, though. i know it's manipulative that whole shit and everyone needs ways, to get for sure. serious help if you're saying that to mm. someone because that's just manipulating somebody that's like do. so rare though oh my god this thing goes to both parties like it's not just guys i think women should do it i mean you want to break up with somebody and you're like um you never get someone like me out there mm. That's, that's just bullshit because there are better people just like there are many fish in the ocean there are better people outside but i get what they're both trying to say though i mean i get kiko really i don't know but personally i believe that um, as a man men get women but that's what you guys don't get i know it's hard it's hard for some men to actually approach a lady i mean i have a friend He's, he's cute. He's cute and all that. But he just wouldn't go up to a lady to say, oh, can I get a number? Like, except he's seated with the girl. They're having a conversation. And maybe when one person is about to leave the other person, he'll be like, oh, let's keep in touch. And then boom. But for him to walk up to you, maybe he sees you on the street, you're looking up cute, doesn't to say oh can i get a number nah he would never do that like this is a personal something he doesn't want to do it but i wouldn't classify that as he has an issue with skipping ladies because he has a lot of female friends like and his female friends they tell him deep stuff too so i would just say it's a personal something but then I feel like our present day um, society and generation, people want um, a particular type of guy. Like some people want dark skinned men who are um, six feet tall, um, have money and stuff like that. And then what happens to an average man? An average man still can get girls. Like you work, I just feel like it depends on the vibe between you and the person. Honestly, I say this a lot. Before, as a guy, before you approach a lady, you really should look at yourself in the mirror. Look at that lady and then look at yourself. Tell yourself or ask yourself rather, am I, no, I don't want to use the word, word, no, nah, I don't want to use that word, but just look at, your, look at the lady, look at yourself and then think about it like, do you guys like i don't know how to say this without being insulted but just um reason it are you guys good together if you walk up to this lady what are the chances that she won't bounce you think about it i mean like think about it good so let's say for example 
you see, um, you walk, you walk into a restaurant and you see a lady, she's alone, she's eating, she's eating, she's drinking wine. You kind of see the wine she's drinking, you see the way she's dressed, you see the wine she's drinking, you see that it's not, it's not a cheap it's not a cheap wine like you know the amount of that wine so you're looking at this and then you're looking at yourself looking at your at your account balance seeing the way she's dressed she's with a breaking bag and then you're seeing all these things and then you yourself you check your account balance please you're not fit for that kind of lady just sit your ass down somewhere else i mean like people should look at these things because you end up um you end up making a fool of yourself at the end of the day and then later you say it's hard to get girls i feel like people should go no i'm not saying you shouldn't dream big but go for what you can can afford that's like a better way to put it i had this guy that um, met me a few months ago and yeah we were talking and i basically told him that i wasn't interested in having a relationship but he's he's an average guy he's short like short short me he was just nice and i said okay i'll go with the flow because on a normal day like i wouldn't give you face but i just he was not like trying to push it because he asked me about relationship and i'm like i i don't really want a relationship right now and even if i was getting a relationship uh no you should be joking it's never be you i said that's his face and then he laughed about it and he kept coming to my dm he was pushing it pushing it pushing it the, I had exam the next day and I was reading and he was pushing it and the next morning while I was working to the to the to school to write my exam I sent a VN and I literally was telling him that nigga what's your problem I said no like stop stressing me the fuck out like I told him okay before you come to me next time to talk to me look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself like, am I a good fit for this woman? You literally see me and then, like, he even told me that I need to tell you something. I'm like, whoa. And then he said, I'm short. And I'm like, are you just noticing? Like, so I feel like people should look at themselves in the mirror first before going out to talk to someone. And true, what Kiko said, I feel like if you go to a bar or you go to a club, there are certain type of people who come to places like that. Let's say at a club, a guy, you go to a club, you order um, drinks to your table, you order azu and um, you order different things, expensive drinks. I mean, even without you saying, there are girls that want to come to your table and sit with you, chat with you, yeah, and then the, you, after doing things like this, you walk up to a girl who has noticed your table in that bar, let's say you walk to their table, like, they would welcome you, like, these are, you just keep cool vibes, so it's about the vibe, it's about the environment too, and it's about, like, personal references to personal references, so people should stop having that ideology that it's hard to get women or it's hard to get men, I mean, you know the kind of person you are, you know the kind of person you want, you just have to go to that environment, and then tend to see if your energies match, because if you're talking to someone and like you're not just feeling the vibe mm -mm, like move on pass it's a pass so it's all about the vibe the energy and i think that's that's all that's all and if you can't personally if you can't if you know you're like my friend that you cannot approach a lady on the road in the bar and ask for her number because you feel she may bounce you then when you are in that space where the type of girls you like are, uh, you try to start a conversation with a random person, and then I think you just picked up from there. But like, you tell me what you think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.